this weekend from vlogging. I do feel like a proud mum. Okay, this was Sid's idea. So this is the little detail on the jean. For the summer, I really do like this style of denim. It's so cute and it's a zip hoodie, which I always prefer. Okay, this is perfect. I love this so much. This has to be my favorite. I think I should go for them. Yeah. Right, I need to get ready because I'm running late. Hi vlog, from me and Sophie. Say hi vlog. Good morning guys, I am actually looking a bit rough. I am off to Pilates in about five minutes, so I'm just getting myself together, but kind of wanted to bring you guys with, I don't think I realized quite how rough I looked until I've just turned this camera on, but yeah, I just thought why not bring you guys with. I have never brought you to Pilates before, and honestly, it's something I'm obsessed with. It's something that I'm trying to do two to three times a week at least. I've got on this little Gymshark set. I'm whoa, I literally nearly flashed you then. I nearly flashed you from Gymshark. This is the bra, I love it. And these are the leggings, they're like a high waisted, they're a little bit more suction y legging. Obsessed. This is my Abercrombie sweatshirt. Nothing beats Abercrombie sweatshirts. They're so gorgeous and soft. But yes, we are off to Pilates and we're actually off to Suffolk for the weekend. We are going to Suffolk with our friends. We're bringing the dog and we're staying there for tonight and tomorrow. And I just thought this would be a really nice vlog to document. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I need to leave. I'm so late. I thought I had loads of time. I have 10 minutes to get there. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my vlog. Today, this weekend, I'm vlogging. Hello. We're in Suffolk. Where are we, Southwold? Southwold. With this little madam. And we're here with our friends, She's been Beth very and good. Bill. She's been really good, actually. She has been good. We're about to take her to the beach for the first time. We're really excited to see how that goes. But we're here with Beth and Bill. Beth and Bill, are you getting on with your friends? Give us a wave. But we've just come down here to the beach and it's so nice. I can't believe like the sun's kind of come out. We've got blue skies. Yeah, it's nice. Watching some of the dogs in the sea is so cute. Are you gonna get her in there? No way. I honestly feel so, I feel like a proud mum of how Sophie's behaved. I feel like when you have a dog, it's such a like long journey of getting them used to like pubs, restaurants, other dogs, like it, it doesn't happen overnight. And when we first got her, she was very, very anxious and very nervous of like pubs and like just other animals and like being out. And it's obviously a process. And honestly, I feel like she's been so good today. I do feel like a proud mum, like, I don't know, I just feel like she's done such a good job. I think she really actually does listen to Leon. So he had her off the lead on the walk back from the pub and she was like apparently looking at him and really listening, which is amazing. So yeah, that's been very, very successful. We've had such a wonderful day. We were sat outside drinking. And I feel like we didn't realise how much we had actually drunk and like how long we'd sat outside. And then we went to another pub and we carried on drinking and we met some people that live near us. And like, it's just been so nice. We've spoken to so many people around here, which has been lovely. And we're so grateful to our friends for having us here. For anyone wondering, because I know someone may ask me, they might not, they, they may be curious what eyelashes I have on. I don't wear eyelashes anymore, she says, with eyelashes on. But I've worn these. I think twice now and I absolutely love them like if I was gonna go on a night out I mean they're a little bit I've put them on not the best oh there's a bit of mascara there see I've got work to do the doll lash and they're in the style gilly they're so nice they're like quite a, I think I cut them a little bit but they're a really lovely short lash and they just are quite fluffy and they're a little bit sultry they're a really nice evening lash so i've got those on i've got this little blouse on which is a newbie from zara i've got this blazer on which is an oldie from asos i've got white trousers on from primark um and we are off I've had such a lovely day i feel like i haven't really vlogged too much today but we've just been having such a nice time with our friends so let's go to dinner <laughs> doing well does anyone else's spare room just become like the hardest part of your house where you keep all your clean clothes until you can be bothered to actually put them in the drawer 
or is that just me how are we all doing i hope you guys are doing well it is thursday the 21st of march and i've got a really fun day planned. and i thought it'd just be like the perfect day to go and vlog i just took sophie on a walk and do you know what i want to talk sophie so i'm gonna talk dog chat i'm a dog mum I'm sorry if this annoys you, but if you have dogs, hopefully you will understand. When we first got Sophie, who is our new rescue dog, and the reason why I keep saying new rescue dog, new rescue dog, I am so conscious of the internet. And you know, if you don't get a rescue dog, everyone's angry with you. And if you do rescue a dog, but it's from another country, everyone's angry with you. There's just like a lot of rage around what people do when it comes to animals. But I do always want to encourage it. Like I think if it's something you've never considered before and you're thinking of getting a dog, please consider a rescue. Um, there are so many of them that need homes there are loads of young dogs if you want a younger dog just maybe look into it anyway tangent when we first got her she had probably never been put on a lead before she'd probably never been like walked in the way that we walk our dogs um and she was very very nervous very confused super curious quite anxious with other dogs and just like the walking in general but i just want to come on here and like i want to like gloat because i've just taken her on an hour's walk this morning i got up really early this morning and i was like let's just smash this out let's have a positive start to the day and honestly guys she's walked better than she has in a really long time and i'm just i am so proud of her so yeah we had a really nice weekend in southwold i'd never been there before Soph absolutely loved it she had the time of her life which is all i really care about no and we had a lovely time with our friends as well it was a really really lovely weekend quite a long drive up there for us but it was really lovely and then on today i am off to a space nk event i'm meeting up with sid we've got lunch booked I was organised and I booked us lunch. Who is this person? So we're going to Sticks and Sushi in Covent Garden, which I haven't been there in so long and I absolutely love it. And it is a little bit of a treat, but why not? Me and Sid don't get to see each other as much as we really should. I think it's just, we're both busy. Like, I think you'll get that if you, as you start to like get into your twenties and obviously she's had a baby. Um, We don't live, we live near, but we don't live like super near. You just get busy. And then before you know it, it's been like, a month and you're like what the heck so i'm really excited to have a girly day we said we're going to look in the shops there's an odd muse in common garden that i think she wants to have a little look in there's a few other stores i want to have a look in around there so i'm really looking forward to it and having a nice girly day by the way i've just broken my concealer i'm gonna have to buy a new one this is the hourglass concealer in oat it's the best foundation i'm wearing the estee lauder foundation i adore this in 3w1 tawny it's like the perfect shade they sent me this in pr and i've never tried it before and i'd heard it was like quite full coverage and it is but it's it's buildable like you can shear it down if you don't put a lot on and it is quite a dewy foundation it's not really really matte i mean i don't know if you guys can really see right now but obsessed with this then under there i've got a little bit of the hydra kate kate somerville serum obsessed i'm also trying a new lash serum that i ordered on tiktok shop i ordered this glow for it lash serum um and i've heard really good things so we're trying that out i'm so excited to go into london i don't know what i'm wearing hey girls so we are further through the makeup i've put on these like tiny little individual lashes that i actually had put on by poly march and i saved a few of them and i'm really glad i did but i wish i knew this brand of lash i have no idea what lashes she used i might message her now and just ask her because they're so pretty they're like they're really natural they almost look like lash extensions just wanted to come in here quickly and talk about well, really briefly, Chris Appleton and Lucas Cage. I am watching, I love Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Like, it is one of my favourite guilty pleasure things to watch. It's gossipy and juicy and all the things that, you know, we shouldn't really be. But I like to watch it. Luke, I'm sure that's his name, Lucas Cage. He's just gone on there. And obviously he's just spoken about their divorce, but he's saying he signed an NDA. They were only married for like two months. I have so many questions about the whole thing. He said his hair's never looked worse. <gasps> He said they got married in fur coats and what was he thinking? He actually said he was in a manic episode for the entire relationship. <laughs> I mean, that is a thing to say, isn't it? That is a thing to say. But I'm so invested. Like, I want to know more. Why did it not work out? Why did he have to sign an NDA? Why are you signing an NDA to get married? The prenup thing? I can understand. The NDA? What's an NDA? Like, as in, obviously I know what an NDA is, but like, why do you need to sign that when you get married? I'm confused. Anyway, fascinated. Anyone knows either of them or has the goss? Let us know in the comments, please. Okay, girls, let's excuse the state of this room. I'm sure you can all appreciate a messy room. I've also not tied this dress up correctly at all, but this just arrived from ASOS because I'm planning on doing like a wedding dress, wedding guest dress series on my Instagram and my TikTok again, like I did last year. <gasps> It's not actually coming up on camera how bright this is. This is like bright neon yellow and it's incredible. Again, not done it up. It's not properly like adhering to my body. 
but the drama, the dress, cannot wait for summer. Get me in this dress with a margarita in hand. Right, I need to get ready because I'm running late. Okay, girls, I'm ready. It's my outfit of the day. I'm gonna try and prop you up in the station so I can do a better one. Jacket is H&M, shirt is Zara, skirt is House of CB, bag is Dior, shoes are Zara, grab my sunnies and grab a coat, I think. And let's go, I'm so excited. Hi. Here we are. I match the kitchen. We do? Yeah. <laughs> This is cute. Like I'm one loving one. the pet shampoo on it. Great. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna have some of this. Oh wow, well. I'm not at breakfast. By the way, your nose contour looks so nice. Oh god, does it? Is it a bit no, heavy? I love it. It's kind of like shiny. Pixie nose. Shiny. I want it. <laughs> Okay, this was Sid's idea. It also looks like we're on the shots, but I can reassure you, we're not. That's lemon juice. It looks like limoncello. Just shots and cookies, like what else? Do you know, she spotted this from across the room and we were like, that is a bit of us. Is We've that... also... No, I wonder... Oh, it is, it's like Frosties. It's like Frosties. It's like Frosties. Yeah, it's like Frosties. Love. No, but love them. We also went into Primark and I don't know how I'm getting these bags home, but we'll figure it out. When there's a will, there's a way. Come pick me up. Just so kind. I had like every single time. I had like oh he wants to get that in there guys. I had two really big Primark bags because I'm doing a job with Primark and they've got all the new Rita Ora collection in, which is so so nice. And me and Sid also picked up a couple of other bits. So I went a bit crazy, which is never a good idea when you're in central London to go into a big Primark shop because then you have to lug everything around with you. And then we went and had a dessert, which was very naughty of us, and it was probably the best dessert I've honestly ever had. It was so incredible and it was all Sid's idea and it was genius. Well, I was going to go get a beer and some dinner, but... I'd happily but... have a glass of wine somewhere. I should go home first. Oh, I've had a lovely dip. I've had one of the nicest days today in a little while. It was really nice to, like, get out, properly get out of the house for, like, a nice chunk of time. Very grateful to my mum, who's probably watching this vlog, who came and helped with the dog today, aren't we? Oh, look Frenchies! Anyway, Sophie's in the back. Naughty girl. I can't even see her. And then I obviously had the bag from Space NK, which honestly, I'm gonna show Leon everything that I got and make him really jealous because I, I love Space NK so much. They are just the best. And they gave me this fragrance. It's the replica Mason Margiela one, which I was like, I, they, you did like a massive experience. You put your headphones on and then you smell the fragrance. And I was like, this is stunning. This is so beautiful. I was like, this is, would be a great wedding scent. And the scent was called Florence or it had Florence in the name. So I think that's a sign. Hello guys, we're running. Very very, very late. Shock. I'm off into London. So for staying here, which was really upsetting me. I will do an outfit of the day on the train. I'm too late to do one now. I'm too late. I'm gonna miss my train. Hello guys. So we missed the quick the quick train. Are we surprised? I would have actually made the quick train, but I saw it sitting there and I thought, oh there's no way I'm gonna make that. So I didn't try and run for it and I ended up miss missing it, but I probably would have made it, which is so, so annoying because it did just sit there for two minutes, but because I was on the other side of the platform, I thought, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, stopped and got myself a green tea from Costa. Because I'm not really into like takeaway coffees at the minute. I just, I don't like them at the minute. I don't know what's going on. So me and my sister are meeting up today. We have got three back-to-back -back, like little meetings with brands, which is really good because it's really nice when it's all on the same day. It just means I don't have to keep coming like in and out. So that's really useful. We are starting off at Super Dry. Um, our meeting is at one o'clock. I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna be like five or 10 minutes late. I'm hoping that I'm not. Um, but I've got to get to West Hampstead and change. And fingers crossed I'm gonna be there on time. So yeah, so that one is with Super Dry at one. Then our next one is with H&M at three, which is really good timing because it means we can hopefully grab a sandwich somewhere. And then the one after that is at PLT at half past four, which I actually forgot we had. There was also a Gymshark event this morning that again, I would have loved to have done, but I just, I physically couldn't do it all because I have to obviously get dog care now for my dog. So those are the three that we're doing. I'm really excited to go into the H&M showroom. I just love everything they always have in there. They seem to create like the nicest pieces. And H&M lately has been a brand that I've been obsessed with. I will pop on the screen this little blue jacket that I posted on my LTK. And so many of you loved this jacket. So we also did, I'll also pop on the screen, my amazing editor did this little like tweed jacket collection. So if you liked that little blue one, here's some others. I love the denim one that's on here. I think I'm gonna pick that up in store today. So yeah, I'll obviously bring you guys along and show you what they have there. I've just got on this little red cardigan. I didn't put a coat on and I'm kind of regretting it. From Zara, this little shirt is H&M. My Primark trousers on, my Zara little ballet flat, lovely bag. And that's about it. So yeah, 
I'm gonna sit and do some work on my phone and hopefully show you guys around the super dry little studio. I've never been there, so I'm really excited. Hello, so I'm in the big old super dry store. Do you know what? I'm gonna make a confession. I've never been in this store. I've walked past this store a hundred times and I've always wanted to come in here, but I've never ever been in here. I probably can't show too much because of the copyright music, but I'm gonna try and get some clips of what is in the store and put some nice music over the top because they've got some gorgeous bits in here that I really wanna share with you guys, so yeah. So this is actually the super dry showroom. There's all the men's and then over here, the women's. I love this, it really reminds me of like, I don't know, that era when I was younger. Do you remember like the tops with the numbers on and stuff? Okay guys, so this is the pile of things I've got to try on. I've got a big old pile there. This is my outfit today. I'm actually gonna show you the items outside because I think I'll get a little bit better lighting. But yeah, I found these jeans that, because I'm off to America, I kind of thought they were perfect. They're like a classic denim jean, but they've got this like little detail on the side. I really love that. Um, so I'm gonna try those on. I've got some just plain little basic tees that I'm gonna try on. Loved this lemon kind of shirt. Thought it would be good over swimwear. So yeah, let's try it all on and I will show you. Okay guys, so I've come out here. I actually have a discount code right now with Superdry. I'm gonna put it on the screen if you're interested um, while I show you all these bits. I really love this detail on the side. I think it's really nice. I just, oh, I wonder if the flare is like a bit too big for me. I almost would like it if it just flared a little bit less at the bottom, but I do love this little design down the side. I think it, they look really, really expensive. I've just paired it with a plain white little basic top. So this is the little detail on the jean and they look like that they're like a wider leg and then this is the plain white top that is just a really nice basic it's very very soft they do these in like gray yellow white green every single color so i will link this below because i do just think this is a really nice basic but i feel like these are just a little bit too flared at the bottom for me okay guys so this is the next little set i've got this white little i don't know what this fabric is called but you know when it's like a little bit hippie top on i actually grabbed this in a uk8 and i really like the fit of this i don't think i would want it any bigger then i've started with these jeans i love these jeans these i will link below because i prefer that these are just not as wide leg at the bottom so they're a lighter wash they're almost like a lighter more movable denim so i guess it depends what you prefer but for the summer i really do like this style of denim they're still quite long so they'd look nice with like a little they'd look quite good with the cowboy boot or something maybe like a um i'm really liking a heeled mule at the minute which i know is a bit random this is them at the back which i love them on the bum and i think these are really nice um i am a little bit hippie across here so sometimes i find my denim that's like where it's a bit small but once i've worn it a few times it should be fine so yeah i love this little outfit actually okay next up i grabbed this kind of oversized i actually got this in a large so maybe it isn't as oversized if you go true to size zip up hoodie this i got primarily i'm actually going on a flight on thursday and i just thought this would be like the perfect hoodie to wear in the airport it is so nice it's really really comfy and slouchy and it has the little super dry detail there they do this in black and there was another color and i can't remember it but i really 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 like this not with these jeans like it's all too baggy but with some like just plain black leggings and trainers so cute and it's a zip hoodie which i always prefer and it's so nice on the inside it's like that actual fluffy fabric which i like okay this is perfect. Um, I actually got this in a UK 10 and I was a bit worried about the length, but I think it's all right because they very kindly make everything longer in the back, which I so appreciate. And I think this is so, so cute. You could do this over swimwear or I would actually do this with some cowboy boots and like a little crossbody tan bag. I think this would be so nice. Again, I think I've already mentioned about seven times, but I'm off to Nashville. And I just think this is so cute for Nashville. If you kind of made it a little bit more country vibes, you could do a really cool jacket, like fringe jacket with it. Oh, I love this. This was one of the items I was really excited about trying on. They have a lot of stuff in this kind of cotton material. They do like beach dresses, like little tops. So I'll link some of this below because this is definitely my kind of aesthetic and I think it's really, really cute. Okay girls, this is a little beach cover up. It's a little bit small on me. So yeah, again, I will link this, but I picked it up in a size 10 and I just feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. It's a bit tight across my thighs. They do this exact dress in like a long version. It's really pretty 
pretty so i'll link that as well but what i was so excited to try on is this little lemon colored overshirt i got this in a large i kind of wish i had grabbed it in an xl but i feel like with denim this is really really cute i'm loving lemon yellow anything at the minute um i always thought it was a blonde it was like a color i couldn't wear but i think you can if you find the right shade and i think this with some like denim shorts will be really cute just a little cover up over like white swimsuits so this is nice they do this style of shirt in like a blue and white stripe a baby pink i think they had like black and white just a basic lightweight kind of linen style shirt so good if you're planning on going away um i always throw these on over a lot of outfits so yeah i like this a lot and i probably would have liked this if i'd got it in the right size i have one more item i'm gonna go try on okay this is the final item i have to try on i'm gonna actually show you guys this when i get home as well because i want to show it properly with a bikini on underneath obviously i do not have a bikini on underneath so you can't really get the vibe i love this this is the dress that i was saying they do in the cream crochet and they do it in a green my friend's probably not watching this vlog but i've got my friend's hendu and we have a day where we're all wearing like neutrals or browns and i feel like this with a brown bikini underneath could be really good for that beach day um i really love this it has a really nice low back detail and then you can just adjust it at the front it's very very cute this is the kind of crochet fabric so you guys can see it better i don't know if i'm doing a very good job of this or not but it is definitely that sheer material so you'd have to do it like by the beach or with a slip underneath but i do think it's very cute um the cream one's actually hanging up there i don't know if you guys can see that's the cream one so yes okay guys so we did stop and have lunch but i forgot to vlog that and we just got grabbed a quick prep and i didn't get time to eat my crisps so i brought them with me so i can snack on them we are now at the h&m showroom so i'm really excited about this because i always find such gorgeous bits i'm going to try and film a reel while i'm here this is the little area where you wait this is all h&m isn't it it's like all h&m home yeah and they've got some new sparkly bits over there so i'll show you guys them this dress these shoes sparkly sparkly okay guys so we are in the hm showroom and i can show you all of the gorgeous pieces that they have here i'm so excited because this is so a bit of me it's very like white bright spring all their spring bits and bobs are here so i'm gonna start by showing you what i spotted when we came in and i've fallen in love with these incredible which is what size are they in they are gorgeous they're in 38 oh my god look at them i'm gonna link them if they're online i am so in love with these i'm in love with this whole rail before i've even gone through it so we've got this gorgeous blazer here oh how stunning little blouses these denim jeans it is all so beautiful and i actually go away on thursday i'm off to florence and i think a lot of this stuff would be so perfect this dress amazing here's some of the other bits look at this skirt so nice okay guys i'll actually link this one because liv's got this on it's a little number i'm gonna try and try everything on and show you it this shirt i've actually got on now is h&m but it's an oldie so i don't know if it's still available but i love the collar we picked up a lot of like white and blue and really gorgeous spring summer bits so how beautiful is the h&m showroom though like this is their little changing room area and look at the mirror it's just so pretty I love it. So yeah, this top is um, H&M, but I don't know if it's available online. They've got this really gorgeous shirt that I'm really wanting at the moment, but it's sold out. So I'm probably not gonna be able to get my hands on it, which is a shame. God, I'm very white. Let's start trying on some bits. Okay guys, so this is the first item. This is like a little denim jacket top moment i love this so much i love denim and i love light wash denim but for me denim jackets are just they're not my normal style like i don't feel they look that kind of put together this on the other hand i am obsessed with this um and i've just kept on my trousers and bag with it i've added my sunnies obsessed okay guys this is the next outfit so this is this shirt i adore this shirt i'm definitely gonna grab this i think it's so nice with these little like scalloped sleeves Oh, and a nice crisp, crisp shirt. I actually love these jeans. I do feel like they're a size too small and I squeeze myself into them, but they look really nice on the bum because they're a size too small. You know, and it looks really, really like it's tight to your waist and everything. Yeah, maybe I ordered these online. Do they look too tight at the front? You can be honest, they're a bit tight on the thighs, aren't they? But they're such a lovely denim. Like they're a lovely light wash denim. So yeah, this is the second look. Again, everything's going to be linked below. I will just do a little post to my LTK where everything is linked over there. Guys... This has to be my favourite of all of the things I tried on. So we've got this little silver metallic tank top. It's probably not showing up on camera. It is 
so pretty. And then I've started with this big dramatic skirt, which I adore. And I think this skirt would go with so much in my wardrobe. It is beautiful, like look at it. Oh, I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's ignore the outfit, but let's just focus on these shoes. Look at these shoes in PLT. Can you guys see them? They're amazing. Obviously I'm trying to show you them like if I had a dress on. Oh my God, aren't they really nice? They're really high. So part of me is very nervous about going for them. Hang on, let me try and take them off. But they're amazing. I think I should go for them. And I'm home. I feel like this day was a little bit wild. So hopefully I showed you guys everything that I ended up picking up. I think there was one thing in H&M that I'm actually gonna get online. It's the little denim like crop jacket. It was really cute, but the large was a bit big. So I'm gonna order it in the medium. That also comes, I'll put a picture on the screen if I can find it on the website with matching jeans. It's so cute. Um, so yeah. Trying to pack my stuff because I go to Florence on Thursday. It's Tuesday right now, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm back in London for a lunch date with one of my old uni friends. I'm so excited about. And then I'm meeting one of the girls that works for Bobby Brown. Tomorrow I need to get up and walk Sophie in the morning and pack my stuff for Florence. Um, and then I've decided I'm gonna do like a whole separate vlog for Florence. I just wanna keep any wedding content separate because if you're not interested in that content, I don't want it to like infiltrate all my other stuff. So so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I just want to be super organized. I want like extra battery packs and I just want to be super organized because as much as I want to listen and get as much knowledge and hopefully find a venue, I also want to be able to like recite as much back to you guys as I can because I found this whole experience really difficult and confusing. So yeah, I kind of want to give you all the info and do a whole sit down venue on, whole sit down venue, whole sit down video on wedding venues and like costings and getting married in, in Italy and just like a whole information type thing about it. So that's my plan, but I've got to pack tomorrow morning because I really don't want to get home from London at half past six at night and have to pack when I'm going to have to wash my hair, have a nice sleep, clean my house, like things like that. I just want to relax. Famous last words. But I'm like making it my plan to, to be back before I get into London tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 